In science, metric prefixes are used when you want to talk about large or small quantities. Let's say you're measuring volumes of water. The litre is a standard unit for measuring volume. This bottle holds about one litre. But if you were dealing with a much larger volume of water, say a pond containing five million litres of water, you can say it contains five megalitres. Mega is the metric prefix you put in front of the word litre that means million. At the opposite end of the scale, if you're talking about a volume of water that's much smaller than a litre, say a teaspoon containing five thousandths of a litre, you can say five millilitres. The prefix milli in this case means thousandth or 0 0.001 if you prefer decimals. There are a total of 20 metric prefixes that can be used to express a range of quantities from the very large right down to the very small. They are used on the one hand by astronomers measuring very big things such as galaxies and the universe and on the other hand by microbiologists and atomic scientists measuring very small things such as microorganisms, molecules, atoms and subatomic particles. The metric prefixes are all based on powers of 10, which means they can be expressed as multiples or fractions of 10, or alternatively as decimal numbers. Each metric prefix has a symbol that goes in front of the symbol for the basic unit of measurement being used. For example, mega, which we've already seen means million, has the symbol capital M. Capital W, on the other hand, is the symbol for the basic unit of power known as the watt. So when you see, for example, 9 capital M capital W, you should read that as 9 megawatts or 9 million watts of power. Milli, on the other hand, has the symbol small m. Actually, the meter, which is the basic metric unit of length, also has the symbol small m. So when you see, for example, 13 small m small m, you should read that as 13 millimeters, which is 13 thousandths of a meter, or 0.013 of a meter, if you prefer decimals.